Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier has been told to forget about continued access to UK waters by a furious fishing chief, after the arch-Europhile demanded European trawlers be able to plunder British territories beyond the transition period. Barry Dees, CEO of the National Federation of Fishermen's Organizations, has warned Michel Barnier the EU's exploitative relationship over the past 40 years with UK waters is coming to an end. The latest round of Brexit talks between Michel Barnier and UK negotiator David Frost concluded on Thursday, with outstanding issues over fishing, governance and trade remaining. Mr Barnier firmly pointed the blame towards the UK for the lack of progress and described the UK's position on fishing as simply unacceptable. Britain is set to finally leave the controversial Common Fisheries Policy CFP, and take back control of its territory. The CFP is governed by the EU and sets out rules and quotas for fishing across the bloc. Each member state including the UK, is only allowed to control an area of sea extending 12 miles out from their coastline, with the rest of the exclusive economic zone, EEZ, shared. Barry Dees, who represents fishermen in England, Wales and Northern Ireland, highlighted the major flaw in the system and said EU vessels caught six times as many fish in UK waters. A government report in 2015 found EU vessels caught 683,000 tonnes of fish worth £484 million in UK waters. But UK boats only caught 111,000 tonnes worth £114 million revenue in EU member states' waters. Barry Dees told Express, the changed legal position at the end of the transition period is that EU and UK vessels no longer have automatic access to each other's waters. Access will have to be negotiated as part of annual fisheries negotiations, along with appropriate quota shares. The EU fleets fish around six times much in UK waters as UK vessels fish in EU waters and to obtain access to UK waters in the future will have to agree to quota shares which more closely reflect the resources in UK waters. Understandably, Michel Barnier does not like this but the fact is that the UK has been trapped in an asymmetric and exploitative relationship with the EU on fisheries for 40 years and that is about to end.